Have you ever been out somewhere with your iPhone or your iPad or maybe even a portable Windows system and you've wanted to connect back to your Mac to maybe download some applications or start a video rendering project or just to connect to it to do some work? Well, with Parallels 19, you can actually use the access feature that comes with the Pro Edition to connect to your system using an iPhone, using your web browser on a Windows machine, or using your iPad. Let's go take a look at how we can do that. Parallels Access comes in, will install when you install Parallels 19. You can turn it off, grant access. But let's grab my iPad and I'll connect up my iPad to my Mac. So this could be anywhere I am. So I've got my iPad. I open up Parallels Access. I can choose any machines that I've enrolled for remote access, in this case my Mac Mini. I'll get a number of applications that I can directly connect to. I can also go into the file system if I want. So if I need to do any type of work once I connect up, I could go into the file system, work with different files. I can do all sorts of different remote work on my, my Mac through my iPad or my iPhone actually. I can also do this with my iPhone. It's again using the Parallels Access app and then when I'm done I can just disconnect and anytime I need to get back to my computer I can, I can use this Access app to do so. Now I can also do this on Windows. With Windows what I'll do is I'll go to the website and I'll log into my Parallels account. You can see I have a couple of machines uh, logged in or connected to this account. I'll go to my Mac once again. Now with the web browser on a Windows machine, I'll log into the Mac using my Mac credentials. And then it's as if I'm sitting in front of my Mac. This is actually a remote connection. And you can see I can do things like go to the App Store. Maybe I want to come home and play a little bit of Monkey Island. So I can go and get that downloaded so that it's ready to go by the time I, I come back home. Parallels 19 has a lot of cool features. You can use it to run virtual machines, which is really something that it's used a lot for. Check out this video on how to do that. But you can also do some very useful things. For example, run SQL Server and check out this video to learn how to do that. Thank you for watching. Oh, like if you liked and it was, this video was helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.